Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Desiree and today's look is actually inspired by this face chart which is done by Natasha Naomi on Instagram. Jumping right in, I do have a little bit of redness because this was right after I finished the Hercules look with my daughter. If you haven't seen it on Instagram, go check it out. To start off, we are going to prep our skin with the NYX Cosmetics HD Foundation. I'm just going to place this all over my face and neck as well. Then we're going to go ahead and take the NYX Cosmetics Invincible Foundation, and this is in the shade Ivory, which is not my shade, but it works for all of these painting looks. I'm just going to spread this around, not necessarily make it even. I'm just going to make sure that it gets on all the surfaces of my face and body. And then just to add a little bit more coverage, I am going to go in with the ivory shade from Makeup Forever, which is their HD Sticks Foundations. And then I am going to take a sponge and start to blend everything out and make everything smooth and seamless. To start off, I'm going to use the color cream in yellow, and this is from Makeup Forever. I'm going to do a circle in the center of my chest here. Let me readjust, and then I'm going to go out with the different colors. So I'm using this aqua color paint from Mayron, which is an orange, and I'm just going around that yellow with a stippling brush. Then we're going to use this red from Mayron as well, doing the same process around and just blending those colors in transition. This is a bright purple from FX Cosplay, and I'm just going to place that on the outer rim of the red. And then we are going to take a deeper purple, which is Plum, from FX Cosplay, and then just finish off the rest. And then we're going to go ahead and do the exact same thing on the forehead here, starting with the yellow closest to the eyebrows, and then we're going to blend in the orange, and then we're going to pop on the red, the purple, and then the deep purple as well. I'm going to take Sugar Pills Flame Point Eyeshadow, which is this orange, and I'm going to place this on the crease of my eye. I'm going to drag that down my nose and then extend that outwards past my eyebrow. And then I'm also going to take that to contour my cheeks as well as contour the bottom of my lip. To highlight, I'm going to take the BH Cosmetics Black Light Highlighter, and this is the yellow tone. And I'm just going to place this on the highest points of my face as well as that center portion on my chest. To intensify that orange, I'm going to take some pigment from Star Crush Minerals. I'll place the name under the description because I don't really remember what it's called. And then right here is just a close-up of how I created my little dragonfly butterfly hybrids because I didn't exactly look like a dragonfly at the end. It definitely looked like a butterfly, but here we go. So I just created one line down the center and then I created an X in the middle. And then I just created some flower petal or leaf shape wings on every little stem that is coming out of the center. And again here, so I created that circle for the head and then that line down towards the middle and then the X in the center. And then I just started to create some leaf shapes out of those little pointy um, X lines that I created. I don't know how to explain that even more, but that's pretty much what I did. So I did add a little bit of color to the center. This is totally optional. Right here I'm just showing you how I outlined my entire dragonfly butterfly hybrid. So I just took a small liner and this one is from NYX Cosmetics in the formula matte. And I'm just kind of going in and creating these little squares like very abstract, not really any specific shape or form. This is just to give us the illusion of the dragonfly wings. And again, just showing you how I outline it. Sorry for the bad angle here. I readjust in a little bit just because I didn't see it. But again, I just kind of outline everything and then add some texture and some lines in the center. Um, butterfly wings are a little bit more rounded in the texture inside. So this one I left pretty rugged and square-like. You can pretty much do whatever you'd like at this point. I did create a wing liner with the same liquid liner from NYX Cosmetics. I started to create these little lines coming down from the bottom portion here, but then I ended up not liking it, so I scrapped it, and it ended up like this. I did create some little dots with a liquid liner, and this one is from LA Splash in Love and Peace, I believe. It's just the orange body art liner. 
And then we're just going to go ahead and start to add some depth to the actual little dragonfly butterfly hybrids. I'm just going to add a little bit of black just to make it a little bit more three dimensional and not two dimensional. I did add on some lips and the same color goes for my eyebrows as well as my wig. But this look I did edit my eyes because my eyes were actually hurting and I couldn't wear any contacts. Sorry. Anyway, this is pretty much the finished look. We did bump up the contrast a little bit on my camera as well as the lighting just to make the pictures a little bit more vibrant. This pretty much concludes my little dragonfly fairy inspired by Natasha and Naomi on Instagram. Thank you guys as always for watching and I hope that you guys enjoyed this one. We will see you in our next video. Love you. Ciao.